Hello Libra. This is going to be your end of the year reading. This is going to be for all my Libras, my balanced, charming, my gracious, my extra averted, idealistic, kind Libras. I love you. My little son's a Libra. Libra, perhaps you need to work on that heart chakra, baby. And when I see the number four, I think of structure. I also think of stability, baby. Which sounds like you, Libra. Doesn't it now? any sense to you let me know in the comments below Heartache and loss with partnerships, perhaps with communication with a group. Choose wisely, Libra. I've been getting a lot of these, huh? Transformation. Nice. That's always good toward, towards the end of the year. So you also got arrested for Juvenile. That sounds good. I like it. I also saw no, uh, another number four as well. So if four resonates, let me know. Prosperity and what? Begin. Prosperity begins. And then number one, I love number one. Ones are always good. They always signify um, new opportunities and new beginnings. And then you've got a little bit of emotional with drama, Libra. What's going on, Libra? Huh? What's going on? You guys feeling a little bit, uh, a little, um, um, because the greens to me, well, this card represents, um, relationship. It, re it represents relationship in the heart, you know. Maybe you guys are just, you guys need to do a little bit of meditation, a little bit of solid, a solitude time for yourself. I think that's really good. That can help you gain some, um, help you take action in anything or just accomplish anything or just become more, um, what, assertive, right? Material and spiritual prosperity. That's wonderful. And then reds in this deck, they signify anything physical. They signify prosperity. So you got three of those. So if you guys are expecting any money, Libras, guess what? You got three of these bad boys. It's going to happen, Libra. You guys are going to make tons of money. So have patience because it's coming. It most certainly is. Let's clarify your cards, guys. Let's see what we got. I wanna clarify the material and spiritual, spiritual uh, prosperity. So we got wands, perhaps you're dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius or Aries, uh, Libra. I can I pick this up? And this is the nine of wands. Nine of wands mean, meaning you reached a goal. Libra, have you just recently reached a goal? regards to material and spiritual prosperity did you reach anything did you reach anything in um like did you just earn something maybe like a possession or maybe did you gain something in material like a material gain or maybe even lose did you lose anything did you lose something material wise Libra. So yeah, this is the, I can't even see, this is the Five of Cups. Sorry, the Six of Cups, what is, I can't see, I need to 
turn on the light here a little bit more and then the six of cups that means to me harmony it means like i see this and i think of not nostalgic i think of youth i think of children i think of just thinking of um times when you were a kid and you were just a lot more kinder more compassionate and you were just like full of energy and maybe that's how you've, you've been feeling that way libra have you been feeling you know somewhat um in harmony with your past with your loved ones can we please clarify the uh, rest and rejuvenate why did that come out on the card the sun the sun is really good the sun uh, is a card of um being fertile it's also a card of happiness it's a card of wisdom it's a card of inner peace um and it's actually a really good card to get to go with the rest of rejuvenation Libra. That's a wonderful thing. It most definitely is. Alright, I want to clarify the emotional withdrawal. What's going on with that? What's going on with the emotional withdrawal? Because I, from what I know, this card has a lot to do with love or joy or emotions. So are you balancing two things right now? Are you balancing two jobs? That's what I'm getting. With the two of pentacles libra are you guys balancing two jobs right now with the earth sign perhaps a virgo um capricorn maybe a taurus i got the world maybe good karma i got leo sign right now i just thought of leo libra This card always shows up in all of my readings. So this is a Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords, that's basically a sense of defeat. Libra, is that how you guys have been feeling? When I see those clouds, I automatically think of, um, you know, things come and go. So maybe that's what you guys are feeling, Libra. You're just feeling that sense of defeat, you know? Like, you see how this guy's like looking at all the other the two guys in the back all weird, all kind of shady, and he has, like, all the swords, and they don't. Well, he's just, like, tired, and he's just like, all right, well, you know what? Like, I can't take this anymore, and it is what it is, you know? And people come and go, so I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of dealing with, um, this is your energy, 100%, so maybe you're dealing with, maybe that's how you're feeling. You're just you just got that attitude of like this mind thing right now with you it's like a thought thing let me know if that if that resonates with you please i need to know this way i could uh i could try to um tap into your energy and then the more i tap into your energy the more i can give you a more accurate reading and then also i got leo i got a, a, a card of compassion What do my Libras need to know? Please, let me know. I need to know what messages to give out to my Libras. All right, so we got the Emperor, followed by, we got the Three of Pentacles, and another three, the Emperor. So you got the Empress and the Emperor. So you got Mama and Daddy. You also got following intuition, you know, you got the emperor being assertive, you know, being a master, just, you know, having wisdom. And then you got the feminine with the empress. And these are two, two major arcana, so this is pretty significant right now, Libra. You got uh, both energies. And then you got the three of pentacles. So I didn't notice that you guys had a lot of threes and I just saw the number three, three. So that is pretty significant to me uh, in this reading. And I think that, let me know if it means anything to you. And threes mean, three to me means uh, growth and creativity or communication also. And this is a card of communication in creativity. Maybe you want to share some news with someone, Libra. 
if you want to do that go for it and i'll let and you know what i'll clarify that really quick with one of my amazing oracle cards i absolutely love these we're going to answer that question right now if you should do so we have a plan right now in regards to uh anything with wealth or maybe work or anything any um anything creativity wise spirit and your guides want you to know to embrace that idea and go for it and go with the flow wow i just said go for it and that means basically what i just said embrace it and go with the flow that is a confirmation from your guide to do it all right universe has your back and you know it don't ever forget that don't ever forget that the universe has your back and i love you very much that's why i'm doing this because i care i care about you and now i want to read you a prayer a card of prayer today's prayer for you because it's i would be really thoughtful to do it for my Whoever wants to watch this. So we got, he gives grace to the humble. He gives grace to the humble. Whoa. Was that my spirit just hanging out? Oh yeah. All right guys, see ya. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas.